Today, I've got a great video chock full of some easy farmhouse tier tray DIYs that are sure to get you ready for spring and warmer weather. Are you ready to create some fun DIYs for your home? Then let's get started. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Let's start off with an easy DIY. I cut this wood cutting board shape out myself with some scrap wood that I had on hand, but they have had a similar size at Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna stain it with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. I honestly love using this as a stain because it's just so easy to work with and it dries really fast and it doesn't leave behind that like oily feeling. I set the cutting board aside to finish drying and I'm taking a little tiny heart that I got in a pack from Hobby Lobby and I'm painting it white. I hot glue it towards the top of the cutting board and then I wrap some jute twine around the board several times and tie a knot. I add a small twig of greenery and that's it y'all. I told y'all this one was easy. The simplicity of it makes it a good background piece on a tear tray or as part of a vignette on like in your kitchen. I was gonna say on your kitchen but in your kitchen. <laughs> So next up is another fairly easy DIY. I'm using the back of this little tray and it's either from Dollar Tree or maybe Hobby Lobby, but it's what holds that small wooden pieces. Like, you know, like right now they have carrots and bunnies and eggs, you know, for Easter or something like that. Anyways, I put those wooden pieces somewhere else and I kept the tray for a future DIY. And today's the day it's gonna shine. So I'm staining with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. And I'm leaving this in because I want y'all to see this is real life. So I was going to decoupage some tissue paper that I got from Dollar Tree onto this piece. I added the Mod Podge and things were going great until I accidentally created a hole in the paper. So I had to scrape, uh, scrape it all off and it actually came off pretty easily. I then reapplied the Mod Podge and then very carefully, like extra carefully, I put more tissue paper on and pressed it down gently. And once that's dry, an easy way to clean up the edges is to take some sandpaper, and I'm using a sanding block, or I'm using also a finger sander later on, but um, you just sand it on the edges. And I'd recommend sanding away from yourself so you don't accidentally mess up any loose pieces, not that I've ever <laughs> done that before. And then next, I take some greenery, and I have this kind of linked down in my description box and I cut off enough to make a circle. Now this greenery does have a wire in it and will hold the shape and I just create the circle and then I hot glue it down and I added a simple finger bow at the top to finish it off. This turned out super cute and it's so easy to do and of course you really could customize it to the colors in your home and it would look awesome. DIY number three is this birdhouse. And then let me tell you, it went through several evolutions before it was finished. So I start off by painting the house green. And then I stain the roof with Waverly Wax in the color antique because y'all know I love it. Off camera, I dry brushed on a darker green. I was trying for like a weathered look and it just wasn't quite getting to where I wanted it. I mean, I did like the look in the sort of cottagey, kind of woodsy, fairy kind of way, but that's not the vibe I was really going for here. So I ended up painting it white. And then I found some rubble transfers in my stash and added those to the front. It turned out super cute in the end and I'm glad I painted over it because I just, I like it better, the white color. For this one, I take a scrap piece of wood and I paint it all one color. And I'm kind of doing a green theme, so I'm painting mine green. I took a little round sponge dabber thing. It's kind of like a stencil thing. <laughs> and I made some circles on there using this mushroom colored paint. I then take some white paint and a small paintbrush and I start making little lines from the dot outward. It's kind of like a daisy shape, but it's not like perfectly formed petals or anything like that. Just kind of, well, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to not, I'm not trying to make it perfect or anything. I'm just making a little flower. Y'all, this, I really love how it turned out. It's simple and easy to make, and I just love it. It's kind of a great background piece, or maybe just a small piece to add some variety to your tiered tray. DIY number five is going to be a cute and simple sign. I taped off the chalkboard side, side of this sign and painted it green. This is the celery color and I've also been using moss as well and they're both by Waverly. I cut out this decal out of vinyl using my Cricut and I placed it on the chalkboard side of the sign. I added a little finger bow to the corner and that is it y'all. Super simple and easy to make and it turned out super cute. 
this DIY, which is DIY number six, it turns out really cute. I took the circle that I got from Dollar Tree and I painted it white. And I'm going to do a buffalo check on this. So I'm laying down some tape and using a small piece of tape as a spacer. And then I'm painting on my first layer of paint. The next step is to put down some tape in the opposite way and then paint another layer of paint. I'm going to explain this a little bit better later, but you put the first layer of tape back on and paint another layer of paint. And before it dries, you take off the tape. I cut out another vinyl decal and added that to the circle. And then I added a simple burlap bow to the top and some greenery. So, so cute and really easy to do. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below. This little house shape came from Hobby Lobby and I sanded down the front and painted it white. And then I decided I wanted to change it to green, so I taped off the roof to do that. This decal is something I made with my Cricut. It didn't quite get to the roof line right, but, you know, it works. And then Captain wanted to be involved, and, well, just kidding. No, he's going to stay there for a second. Okay, Captain. Oh, wow, just sit down. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to be painting this little heart white. And then I glue it towards the top of the house. And I love how it turned out. And the great thing is I could paint something on the back to make it a double-sided sign. Last one, y'all. DIY number eight. So I'm going to show you how to make plaid out of buffalo check. I painted this little tag that I got from Dollar Tree white. And then I taped off my project using a small piece of tape as a spacer. And then I painted it using my lightest color. Once that dries, apply the tape in the opposite direction. And again, use the small piece of tape as a spacer. An important part of this is to mark where the tape was before. You can kind of see it, but making the marks is just going to help you in the long run. It'll make it easier. And once you've done that, you're going to paint another layer of paint on top. Then you're going to put back the tape from the first layer. You're going to put that back on. You're going to use those little marks that you made to help you do that. And then you're going to paint on a darker color on top. And before it dries, you're going to peel off all the tape. To make the plaid, you're basically going to make a line through the lightest color. I chose that mushroom color as I thought it complemented it well, but you can use any color that you want. I started off using a ruler to try to keep the line straight, but then I just was freehanding it and it turned out well. In fact, I made this before I made this circle shape and I thought, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so cute. I really loved it and I'm sure you're going to be seeing more plaid in the future on my channel. It just turned out so good. Anyways, I added a decal and some wooden hearts. I added some twine and the beads that came with the tag and a bow at the top and I made a jute twine tassel for the other end. Y'all, this plaid is so cute. I just love it so much and I loved how this turned out. But let me know what y'all think in the comments below. This was a super fun video to make and I hope you loved it too. I love sharing tips and tricks and crafting ideas and if you enjoy my content, be sure and hit subscribe and share this with your friends. And if you want to follow me on social media like here on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, my handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye!